What the dame is playing with my phone? Dame is, dame is trying to get to the phone. Something, something just whacked, went in my phone, just went whacked out in my phone. Damn, Dame is playing with the phone. That's how I go, man. Yeah, he gonna upload this. He gonna upload it. Let, let's mess it up. He ain't messing nothing up, Damus. Y'all ain't even trying to mess my phone up so I can't get the message out. Ain't that something? That's, that's them Damus, man. They don't want it to get out. See, this is how, you, right now, they, they pissed off. They ride every day all around me. Like I said, they piss. This is spiritual warfare. Because they know I'm going to send this up on YouTube. They know things are going to happen good for me. It's spiritual warfare. I'm in battle right now. Because I'm not for that life style. I'm for the most highest kingdom far as my lifestyle. I'm a soldier for the kingdom. So... I'm an enemy to the ones that surround me in these little bit of woods here. And they're pissed. Okay. It's like I say, you can't not see them with the physical eye. See, some of y'all ain't gonna understand this. They are the ones who make you think in a demonic way. They're the ones that give you murderous thoughts. They're the ones that give you perversion thoughts, uh, perverted thoughts, lustful thoughts, gluttony thoughts, drunken thoughts, crazy thoughts, demons, man, that bring curses within your life, that bring curses in your family tree. You got, you got all kinds of people that's infected with these demons in your family. You not like that? Oh, I'm exempt because, I mean, that's on. No, you're cursed. They bringing the curses into your family. But if they don't, if you, that's why I say it. you got to talk to people, especially if you love those people in your family. If they cursed, you are not exempt. You're not subtracted from that curse because by them being your bloodline, they're cursing your family. They might not do anything detrimental to you as being a relative, but they out there hurting other people, causing people to fall, uh, tragedies and, and massacres and this, that. They are doing this. They are perpetrating this. They are doing this in reality. So the curse is, is going to go on them and it's going to go into the family tree by you being related in that bloodline. This is why you got generational curses. This is why you got multiple abominations. This is why because people are traumatized they are infested some families demonic proportions some families with multiple demons within their family the killer spirit I keep going over it. The, the, kill, the killer the murderous thoughts all this stuff that plays out in reality the jealousy all this plays out in reality and when they, and once they bring it to fruition, once they bring it to the bring it to the flesh, meaning the act is done, they didn't seal the deal with, with, with the devil and the demons. So now, since they done that, curses is gonna be fall and punishment is gonna be fall their family. How many times I gotta tell y'all? And they already didn't play it out on YouTube. I done told y'all this a million times. If they can't, if you out there doing things. You don't supposed to be doing. You're doing things that cause people to fall. You're doing things, you, 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 you're making other families mourn by you taking their members out or whatever. They may not get you. Here comes the revenge. They're gonna get your baby mama. They're gonna get your little son. They're gonna get, they get a toddler. They don't care now. It's been happening. To draw you out. And then once they get you all drawn out, they're gonna take you out. This is how they do it, man. This is, this, cause, cause you, you already did stepped over the line you're demon infested you took someone's life now it's time you know for the return what goes around comes around so they can't get you they're gonna get they're gonna get someone real close to you that you really love and take them out in a brutal way wake up man it's no joke this what happens 
when you incorporate demons within your souls this is what happens when y'all when y'all bow down to the Baphomet, this is what happens. When y'all represent Goat Lucy, this is what happens. When y'all you know in a in a congregation of demons, man, don't allow the demonic forces of life to take you out. This is why y'all not getting no blessings. This is why some of y'all content creators on YouTube channels ain't growing. This is why y'all pissed off at other YouTubers because we growing. Don't get jealous of us. What are you talking about? If you're talking about death and destruction, if you're talking about all these, uh, if you're jealous and trolling other channels, to, you know, to get your channel popping, you, 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 you're demonically infested. Y'all call them trolls? No. They, yeah, they're trolls. That's, that's, you know, that's the technical term for demonic people. All there is demonic people, man, online. It just transitions. It transitions. It spills out on virtual reality, which is the internet. It's the, and, and, and look, it's only right if they like that in reality, that they're going to be like that in virtual rea reality. The same attitudes, the, the same thought process, it's going to spill, spill over in virtual reality, man. And you got demonic people, man. This is why they troll so much. This is why they, they get pissed off so much. This is why they do all this demonic stuff. Because they demonic. They don't want to see their own people rise and, and talk about something that's going to help other people. Get out of their funk. They want to stay in the funk. Misery loves company. Do not let these trolls slash demonic people take your channels down. Fight. Fight the good fight. So... Hope y'all got the, got the, you know. Hope y'all got it, man. If y'all, if y'all didn't, y'all, y'all missing out, man. I hope y'all got something out of this. Don't fall victim. Please don't fall victim, man. There's a lot of people walking around here. They are dead. They are mentally, physically, spiritually dead. They just waiting on death because they refuse to come on in to the kingdom of God. Lord, the synagogue of truth. They refuse to come in. They, 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 they really think they're missing out on something. You ain't missing out on what you miss. That shit, that's what it is. That shit. Y'all ain't missing out on nothing. Because what, what y'all think y'all missing out on, what y'all think y'all missing out on, is shit. You feel me? It's nothing, man. Y'all need to come on in. Now, what I'm talking about, Serving when I'm talking about fellowshipping and worshiping is the man upstairs, the man who created everything. This is who you pay your homage to. This is who you trust, not a man. You trust in the Lord first and foremost. He will guide you through. He never turned me down. He never. I never got. I, you know. I never. He never backdoored me. I'm blessed to be here, and that's by the, 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 the you know that's by the Lord. That's not by man. I'm blessed to be standing before y'all in a in a technical process on YouTube doing a video telling y'all the you know the good. I'm blessed to even come out my mouth presenting this kind of dialogue to y'all. Like I say, this is not this is not scripted. This is not written. This is not memorized. This ain't no script. This ain't been written down. This haven't been rememorized. This is all downloaded from the man upstairs. The most high. And that's a gift. Recognize your gift. The only re the only way you're going to recognize your God-given talents, you have to stay out of the devil's playground. See, that was that's what's blinding you. That's what's blindfolding your thoughts, your, your intuitions. You are, you are in a demonic realm. This is why you can't grow because you're being hindered by demonic forces. The only reason why I'm doing these YouTube videos and the only reason why I've been on YouTube because I have got out of that shit. Get out of there. Come away from that. It's nothing. You ain't missing out on nothing. It's the same old, same old, it's the same old song. Death, destruction, sickness, tragedy after tragedy after tragedy after tragedy. Come on, man. Don't you want to be free? Don't you want to break the chains of demonic slavery, mental, de demonic mental slavery? Let's put it like that. Demonic mental slavery. You, the devil have took the chains from the cotton fields and put it 
in our brains. Yes. It's called demonic mental slavery. You're, you're mentally enslaved, adding on with the demonic. That means you're enslaved by demons and the devil himself. They enslave in your mind. And this is why you live an evil life. You don't live a productive life. And you cursed and you possessed. So you you all in. And some of y'all don't even know it. But I'm here to tell you, if you have those attributes, you better get that shit up off of you. Because you enslaved. Your soul is in your soul is in, in jeopardy, man. Man, uh, man and woman, your soul is at risk if you don't come out of that. And if you soon, if you soon don't come out of that, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, you know, how they say it, it is what it is. It's gonna be it is what it is if you don't come out of it. And you know what your final destination is gonna be at. That's about it. I asked the Lord. I asked the Lord. Thank. I thank the Lord for waking me up this morning and, and giving a message to my brothers and sisters on YouTube of all different nationalities, colors, and creed. I asked the Lord to help me with, with my spiritual walk and continue to help me on this walk to inspire folks that need to be inspired, and not and also to the ones that want to jump on the truth train to victory. Come aboard, hit that cash app, and, and get into the scriptures, y'all, and live out the scriptures in your individual lives. And I guarantee you, a lot of things that's plaguing you will be lifted off of you and be and get destroyed by the holy realm. The Lord and his angels will get will, will, will get those demons up off you. You gotta come out of that house. You gotta come out them houses of destruction and demonic proportions. You gotta come out of there. You gotta come out of there. Cause it's destroying y'all, man. And y'all know who you, y'all know who y'all are. Y'all know who y'all are. Y'all already know who I'm talking about. If the shoe fits, if y'all feeling some kind of way, that means you you are in it. You may be you may be tiptoeing it, or you may be knee deep in the shit in it. And you better come on out. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you gotta come on out. Cause it ain't gonna get no better for you. You know, it ain't gonna get no better for you. Bless y'all, man. To whoever come across this, bless y'all. I hope I hope this is helping some of y'all, man. Bless y'all for supporting me, man. You know, I'm going to keep on pushing them out, man. All you have to do is listen. All you have to do is pay attention. And first and foremost, live it. Because a lot of y'all know, know, know right from wrong. But you gotta wanna live right. See, you gotta wanna live for the Lord. Some of y'all think y'all can know. It's, it's no, it's no cutting no corners. If you're gonna be of the Lord or not of the Lord. All that cutting corner stuff, no. I'm out.